so I, I just want to show the editor perspective of this and I'll try to keep it short and simple and just so we don't alienate anybody who's not necessarily proficient in the color page because it is used to also be a simple tool to kind of either get you to the idea or hand the idea off to a colorist that's the simple spice that you can add on before your client walks in the door yeah so i'm just going to show two quick things there is the passive way of doing it which is on the adjustment clip which is like an adjustment layer inside of adobe after effects or adobe premiere yeah. or even photoshop and then you also have right in here if i just add this we can also i'll just open up the looks so inside of here I have Stu's preset that I've already imported and it lives inside of this preset folder. If you go in here, you can hand these off. So I think I put it inside of this one here. This is the one that he handed us all. And this is just a simple file that you can use it on Mac PC. And uh, as long as it lives inside of this folder structure, it's gonna live inside of here. And when you go to your presets, you can share all of your presets. So if somebody makes it on the Mac, on the PC, you can share that. If you want to give it to the colorist, you can give it to the colorist. They can add it on a node. Again, the, the idea is the simplicity and the fact that it's consistent. So now I can take this back into Resolve and I can use this as well. So uh, let me just commit to this and it'll send me right back to Resolve. Um, and again, also, if you see that you just kind of want to add this as a subtle spice, you can try doing it here on the adjustment layer as well. I mean, the adjustment layer, the adjustment clip. And then if you go into the color page, the adjustment clip will pop up as well. And just one quick little pro tip, if you go here inside of my edit timeline and I turn off uh, the, I disable that video track. Now, when I go over here, oop, when I go back to the color page, now the only thing I'm gonna see is on V2 and I turned off, I won't see any more of V1 on here. So you can just work on just that in a more passive way. So. There's a handful of ways to handle this. And this is just, again, if you're on the edit side and you just want to send the idea over to the colorist, you don't have to be the colorist. You can see still be very proficient in looks or any of the magic bullet, the suite itself. And uh, it's still relatively easy to convey your idea down the line. So that's yeah, all I want. You can to stretch that adjustment clip to cover a, a whole time. Yes, off. several a clips. Of clips, right? Yeah. So you you can you can pick a look and just focus on creative editorial, but your your client or you yourself, you know, you're not getting distracted by the fact that everything looks like flat log. Yeah, that's and I will add that this is in some way like a, a completion one of the objectives of color management. That is like editors, VFX, colorists can look at the same images. And that is one of the things we like we like about it. I mean, just a look file and we can share it around platform. And that is this is really important. 